Hello, 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 hello. Welcome to another video. And yesterday we saw how to deal with shy students. And today we're going to see how to deal with chat box, chat box students, like the students that talk a lot. They never stop talking. Uh, I don't know. How do you feel about that? Uh, I saw on some like Facebook page or forums, like some of teacher they like to talk as well. So they are a bit frustrated when they have this kind of student. According to me, is the best student. Uh, I wasn't patient before, but I learned to to listen, and uh, it's a very important skill. And I, I love the students; it's quite easy. You ask a short question, and the class is done. <laughs> they just talk, 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 talk. So here, here is what I do with them, uh, and I really do enjoy. I have a few of them, and uh, it's really cool for me. <laughs> I love it. Uh, that's so cool. So just start with an open question. Uh, they usually want to learn. They they like like those kind of students. They are really diligent. They they learn everything by themselves. But they just like to talk, and they they just need someone to listen. So you you have to just to listen to to listen. So what I do? So I ask an open question, anything, and I, I let them talk. What I do? I, I take some notes, and I give feedbacks every twenty minutes about that. When they maybe say they stop talking about ten fifteen, I say okay. So now I, I I take a few notes about what you were saying. So uh, I realized that you said that. Maybe you just rephrase it. You say, oh, maybe you could say it like this. Or uh, I realized that you have this problem with that grammar point. So let's see it together. Okay. So you will explain. You give feedbacks. And after, you repeat the same process. Ask an open question and let them talk <laughs> and enjoy the process. So, mm -hmm. Okay. Mm, ah, that's correct mm, ah, agree yes oh yeah and if you've learned something you've learned you've learned something together you know that you you taught something and then she said it wrong or he said it wrong you say do something wrong and they say ah oh, yeah, yeah yeah they're gonna rim. and if they, they stop because they, they see your face you say say ah, remember we saw that so now like keep talking is that it you let them talk that's easy peasy seriously uh, for me, the students are, are blessing. I know some some teacher they won't be agree with me, but for me it's just uh, it's just amazing. I just love it. Uh, it's an hour that goes so fast. I just have to listen, and pay attention, take some notes, uh, give some feedbacks, and uh, that's really cool. Uh, so one of my students, uh, she's a Japanese, so she loves to talk. Uh -huh, that's amazing. And I, she she's traveling a lot with her work, and uh, I ask a question, oh, where are you now? What, what did you do last week? And poop, that's it. Uh, 20 minutes done <laughs> after i ask another question boop, 20 minutes done so basically uh, three uh, three four questions is that's it yeah, my hour is done and uh that's really cool and uh we i really do enjoy it. so here's the the blueprint just what i do with those as i say you know when you um when you are an online teacher, it's not only like teaching. Uh, you you prepare your materials and you teach it. You really have to adapt. Depends on the student. So uh, as you can see, if you have a uh, someone who want to learn conversation, you have to master conversation. So with the chat box, chat box student is cool. If you have a shy student, you have to prepare in advance. So you really have to adapt. So basically, when you master try listen. You, you have to know a bit the profile of your student. So as I say, I, I made it in my course. So I explain everything, what I do, why I take notes and uh, how I do. If I know the student very well, after it's easy to, to make a class. Uh, so I invite you to check out my website and I'll see you in another video. As always, I wish you to have a pleasant day.